today we're going to be removing the background uh, behind this diabolical little ducky of the Joker. Yo, what is going on? Welcome back to another video right here on Free Will Photos. Hey, before I get into the content, if you find the content at all helpful, please smash the like button in the middle of the video. First thing I want to do is hit AI Auto. This is going to give me a nice even exposure, and I'm not overly concerned about the exposure. So what I'm going to do here is come over to my masking tool, or actually, the easiest way, on the layer of the image that you want to remove the background from, click the little box with the circle in it, and that's going to bring you to your layer mask. I'm going to go ahead and hit the AI auto button. If you want to be cool, you can hit W on the keyboard. And the way that I figure that out is because it says W right there. But I'm going to click it because I'm not going to be cool today. And we are in the AI auto uh, workspace. If you haven't caught my video on AI auto, there's going to be a card that pops up here. I'm just going to speed through this a little bit and get rid of what I don't want. So right now what I have is a selection brush of paint out. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint around Mr. Joker here, getting rid of all of the nonsense that I don't really care for. And I don't have to be entirely perfect by hitting shift X. That's going to give me the little plus sign for paint in. I'm going to highlight all inside Mr. Joker and Mr. Joker ducky dude. No, uh -oh. went over the lines. We'll see how on one works that out. And, you know, some of the reasons that you will want to remove a background uh, or just remove a subject overall is either one, you want to change the background completely or two, you want to isolate the subject from the background. I'm going to show you both of those here uh, right now. So I have Mr. Joker. He's ready to go. I'm going to hit apply and see what happens on one. Do some stuff. OK, it didn't do a bad job. I'm going to go ahead and hit shift X and do a little bit of cleanup work. Make my brush a little bit smaller here. And I'm going to go right around the edge there just so on one knows I don't want that. And I'm not going to make this entirely perfect. All right. Uh, that is something you're probably going to want to do, uh, with your images, but for the sake of this tutorial, I am just going to leave it like that or whatever happens when I hit apply this time around. And in a little while, it should give me what I want. Yes, it did not, but whatever. I'm going to go ahead and hit done. I can clean that up in the back end. So when I hit done here, it is going to render this to a mask. Now the background is gone because you can see by these little transparent boxes or the, the checkered background, I'm on a transparent box. But the cool thing is I'm on a mask. Now I'm in the refine. I'm going to be a little bit more adventurous and I'm just going to go back to the normal masking tool and I'm just going to paint this away. Now I do have my magic brush on. Uh, so it's going to help me not delete stuff that I actually want to keep. Right. And that's just the thing that you're going to have to do with AI auto, but think about it. I didn't spend a whole bunch of time cutting out Mr. Joker. So now I have Mr. Joker on a layer. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to create a new solid layer. It doesn't matter the color because I'm going to change this layer to be a texture layer. I'm going to bring Mr. Joker right behind here. And now Mr. Joker's on a white layer. Uh, that could be what you're going for if that's what you want to do. Uh, this works great for product photography. If you shoot it in a studio, you got to cut it out, put it onto an all white backdrop. Boom, you're done. Hit export, send it. Or you can just hit, click on add filter. We're going to get a little bit more creative today. And once the filter module pops up here, yep, there it goes. We're going to go ahead and select, you know, let's go with a metal texture. 
makes no sense whatsoever, but we're going to do it anyway. Now, right now, you don't even see it. And the reason for that is because my blend mode is set to subtle. Now, if I go to normal, you might see something or not. But if I go to replace, now I have Mr. Joker on a background. Ooh, isn't that cool? All right, let's put him on a rusty background because, you know, it's the Joker. He's a little bit more rugged. All right. So what I want to do now is show you that once you have the subject isolated, you can actually select the background of the image and, you know, really work on the background. So that was the first step, right? I, or I showed you the first step, cutting out the Joker, putting them onto a metal background. Now I'm going to show you the second way if you really just want the background and not the object inside of it. So let's go ahead and close that out. We'll come back to Mr. Joker and we're actually just going to hit the layer mask. Now, I love the way on one layer masks work because you don't have to be super uh, good at making layer masks because watch this. Boom. Now I have the background selected in my mask uh, ready to go. And, you know, if I do something weird like turn this on, look at that. Now I have a cutout of Mr. Joker on bronze and all that good stuff. Isn't that lovely? Hey, look, there's so many applications that you can use to really work out how you want your uh, to cut out a subject. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and smash the like button. And if you're new here, consider hitting the subscribe button. Here at Free Will Photos, I generate videos on a regular basis to help you, a new photographer or even an intermediate or advanced photographer. Learn how to use photo editing software to get your creative vision out and into the world. So until the next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.